Hey there! It's Vin from Envy Auto. You may have remembered me from such short feature films on Speed Academies doing two rads on a Porsche V8 or uh, throwing a 2K in a S13. Whatever. Today, I'm gonna show you how to install a uh, vibrant O2 uh, stainless steel bung onto a piece of stainless steel pipe, which could be your exhaust or anything like that. Just like that. First thing we're gonna to wanna to do is figure out exactly where we want our O2 bung to be. Uh, we're just doing an example here. Typically what you wanna look out for is how high your O2 sensor is gonna be. And depending on where on the um, exhaust, the angle, uh, where the O2 sensor should be as the specification would tell you. But ideally what you're gonna do is you're gonna mark where you want your hole to be. Let's say it's there. We're gonna drill a hole there, but we're gonna find out that our hole needs to be at least bigger than 11 sixteenths and probably slightly smaller than one inch. So now we have our uh, mark of where we want our O2 bung to be. It's gonna get a little center punch there. Drill a pilot hole. The three quarter hole saw. And there's your hole. And remember to wear safety goggles. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna tack this onto our piece of pipe. So you wanna make sure that it's exactly where you want it to be and have a way of uh, setting it down without it moving. Okay, now that's tacked in place, we're gonna get this set up to purge it with argon on the inside. Uh, Cause that's what you need to do for all stainless steel pipe. All right, so now we have set this up to uh, purge with argon. Got the gas flowing from this side. Got this side capped off, but this side has some holes in it. Uh, you wanna be able to purge the argon through it and not just trap all of the uh, argon in there. What it does is it gets all the oxygen out and keeps the welds underneath uh, clean, and you'll see that later. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw some gas in this. And you can hear it purging. Give it a minute to let it flow out. And what they call this is purge and burn. Well. All right, so before welding the whole thing, I'm gonna tack uh, each side just so that when I do start the full welds, it doesn't pull the bung all the way to one side and you'll end up getting a crooked uh, O2 sensor.
And that's it. You have your O2 bomb welded on a piece of pipe. So you can see here, no crystallization or oxidization in there. So we got to purge it. And if you want to get this O2, vibrant O2 sensor, uh, we have it on our web store. It's also in the link in the description below. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.